I mean, I think there's lots of different things going on here. Um, I think you can see, for example, one very, very interesting study shows the um, geographical distance that children were allowed to go from their home um, on their own, away from home. And you can see how since the 1970s, year on year, that distance that children are allowed to go has become smaller and smaller. Mm. So essentially nowadays, it's pretty much their back garden. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about literally like their ability to get on the bike and ride around the neighborhood. Absolutely. Slowly has been scaled Absolutely. back. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah, which is, is sad, very, very sad. I let my daughter walk to school on her own, my, or with, with another boy from her class. My fear, and this is very, very revealing, my fear was not for one second about anything that would happen to my daughter. You know, she's a very sensible girl, she'd be absolutely fine. My fear was what will other parents think of me? Hmm. And it's that idea that we're all kind of checking and monitoring each other all the time. Yeah. Um, and that's really unhealthy. People will say funny things to me like, oh, you're so lucky. You can do that because your girl's so sensible. Uh, well, actually, no, she's just a regular kid. She's just the same as your child. The reason yeah. why she's sensible is because I've allowed her. Right, it's not a coincidence that you got this sensible kid. Yeah, yeah, it's right. because I've let her take these risks that she now is this sensible child. Um, but people come up and, and they will say, oh, I, I saw her walking to school on her own today. And it's almost as if they just want me to know that right. they know that she's walking on her own. Yeah. So it's really, it's like big brother stuff yeah. at a very micro yeah. level because yeah. they start, it's almost a way of, of, it's not just that they're surveying the kids, in a way they're surveying the parents. Absolutely. And now you're Absolutely. all kind of watching each other. Yeah. So it really, yeah. Yeah. so how do you peel back some of this stuff? I think you've got to, I think, and you just have to stand up and take that risk. And you just have to say, well, no, she's 10, my daughter, you know, she's walking to school and that's it, end of story. Thank you.